Thank you for joining us. I'm Toga Ai, the director of the King's Fund in Cambridge, and my guest today is Eric Franz. We're here to talk about your new King's Fund project. What are the drivers of intergenerational transmission of inequality? What is your research question? Our research question is why do rich parents have rich children? What are you looking at that hasn't been addressed before? We're looking at a very large variety of both inputs from parents as well as outcomes of children. In particular, we're tracking a cohort of individuals from birth through age 55 to understand how early life influences impact late life outcomes. How is your research innovative? Our research is innovative in several dimensions. First of all, to the best of our knowledge, it's the first study that really tracks individuals over such a long time span over the course of their lives when thinking about the full set of early life investments and life, life outcomes. The second sense in which it is innovative is how it brings together such a large variety of measures. All of these measures have a certain element of measurement and error within them. So when we're thinking about measuring parental investments, we have a very large number of measures of parental investments. For example, to what extent do parents read with their kids and the like. But we think that all of these are measured with error. Our framework is an econometric framework to help us deal with these measurement and error issues. What are the wider social issues that your research address? The vital issue is why do high income parents have high income kids? Why do low income parents tend to have low income children? There's multiple reasons why we might think that uh, high income parents have high income kids. Amongst them is that these children receive more resources, both in terms of within the family, in terms of parental reading to children, helping kids with homework, as well as more monetary based types of resource transfers, such as children of high income parents tend to go to better schools. Trying to understand to what extent it, are these differences in outcomes, does it come from the home environment versus other more market based uh, sorts of transfers? This is critical for trying to understand how to elevate those who are born to the least well off in society. So how can your research help us understand more about the economy and society? Our research can help better understand the economy and society in general by better understanding why these high income parents tend to have high income kids. If, for example, it is better quality education, then we might think about different schemes to try and help elevate the uh, educational quality received by low income kids. So one of the objectives of the King's Fund is to strengthen the research base in Cambridge and help younger researchers establish themselves. How does your project do that? The money from the King's Fund will be instrumental in terms of developing synergies within the applied micro group within the Department of Economics. Currently, I am talking with other members of the faculty. I think this could also be an excellent opportunity for PhD students to get involved in terms of trying to address some of the key questions that society faces today.